Hey, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer series. Uh, in uh, Ruckus ICX 8095 and higher, uh, there was a fundamental change in the way ACLs get applied to VLANs. So in prior versions, the ACL was applied to the VE or the virtual ethernet interface. Uh, in 8095, it is applied to the physical VLAN. So so under the actual VLAN itself statement is where you would apply that, that ACL inbound or outbound. And uh, I think it's important to cover how traffic gets affected um, based on the direction of that ACL because it's very different than it was in the past. So let's have a look at that. Uh, so what we're going to do in a setup here is we built two VLANs on this um, this is a, a 7150, but it doesn't really matter. So so we've taken the first 24 ports and put it in VLAN 10. Uh, and put it in the 192.168.1.0 subnet. Uh, and VLAN 20 um, is ports 25 to 48, uh, and it is in the 10.0.0.0 subnet uh, with a slash 24 on that. So basically just split the switch into half um, just for illustration purposes, and then we'll apply the ACLs on the VLAN. So just wanted to give you the setup. Now I know... Um, as of 9.0 9 and above, the um, you don't need the router interface statement under the VLAN. It just it's assumed and it automatically creates that VE. But um, for 8095, you still do. So it it would apply to either one. So here we built a very simple ACL, right? So it's just an access list. It's extended. It's called blocked. Um, and so we're denying ICMP from any source to any destination, and we're logging it. And then we're permitting IP any any because obviously there's an explicit deny at the end. Uh, so basically what we're doing is we're just blocking ping, right? That's the point of this ACL. So as simple as it gets from anyone to anyone. Uh, and then we go to VLAN 10 and we apply this IP access group blocked in. So this is inbound into the ACL. Uh, so different than how it worked before. So this is important to cover. So from my source, if my source is on is connected to VLAN 10, so you know I'm showing a laptop, but whatever that source may be, it's in the 192.168.1 subnet. Um, so let's see what happens here. So can I ping uh, another device in VLAN 10 from that source device? So from VLAN 10 to VLAN 10? Uh, the answer is no. Because if you look at the way ACLs are applied to the VLAN, it is from the perspective of the interfaces in that VLAN, right? So, so for any interface in VLAN 10, that get that uh, traffic filter gets applied inbound. So when the traffic comes from my source into VLAN 10 or into the interface in VLAN 10, it's going to get denied, or at least ping is going to get denied, right? So so no, I cannot ping another uh, device in VLAN 10. Can I ping another device in VLAN 20? Well, the answer is also no, because it's going to get dropped at the ingress port in VLAN 10, so it'll never get a chance to get to VLAN 20. And thirdly, uh, can I ping the virtual Ethernet interface in VLAN 10? So can I ping this VLAN's own interface of 192.168.1.1? Uh, no. Right, because it's filtered in hardware at the at the ingress interface. So again, those all get applied from the perspective of the interface, not the VLAN itself. Okay, so moving on. So same access group, right? Same inbound on VLAN 10. So we haven't changed anything. So from a device in VLAN 20 now. So exactly the same parameters. We've just moved from a, to a source device in VLAN 20. Can I ping another device in VLAN 10? Uh, well, the answer is partially. So remember, this v, v, uh, sorry, this ACL is applied inbound to the interfaces in VLAN 10. So when I ping from VLAN 20 to VLAN 10, that traffic goes just fine, right? But the reply traffic, because the device that's in VLAN 10 has to reply to that to that ping, which is also an ICMP packet, the reply is inbound into VLAN 10. It will get dropped. So so the reply is blocked, but the but the actual ping itself will make it to its destination in VLAN 10. Can I ping another device in VLAN 20? Sure. 
right? Because the ACL is applied to VLAN 10. So VLAN 20 has no effect whatsoever. Uh, can I ping the virtual Ethernet interface in VLAN 10? So it's an interface in VLAN 10 coming from VLAN 20. Can I ping it? Sure, I can because it's not coming into a physical interface in VLAN 10, right? That traffic is just crossing um, through the routered interfaces or the, the virtual Ethernet interfaces uh, across the VLANs. Um, okay, so how about um, we change this a little bit? So, so in order for that previous one to work that was partially blocked, uh, we can add a new statement into our ACL, right? So we've we've added sequence five. So pr before the block, we've permitted ICMP any any echo reply. So we're not we're not we're still not permitting ping. We're just re re um, allowing ping reply. Uh, and so therefore, if I'm this device. Before I could remember, I could ping across, but my reply couldn't get back from a device in VLAN 10 because it would get blocked at the ingress ports. So now this line in the ACL says, allow the reply, but don't allow the ping itself. So if I was a device in VLAN 10, I still couldn't ping anywhere, but because I'm coming from 20, I can ping across. And then this device can reply. Its reply is now allowed to get back to VLAN 20. So it fixes that, that um, issue from the, uh, from the previous one. Um, okay, so uh, how about an outbound ACL, right? So on VLAN 10, we've applied the same access group, but outbound. So otherwise, exactly the same, right? Taking the amount off, apply the outbound. So again, move my source back to VLAN 10. So can I ping another device in VLAN 10? Well, my inbound traffic is fine, right? Because the ACL is applied outbound. Um, and so it'll, it'll, the problem though, is it's now applied outbound on the ports in VLAN 10. So it'll never get out to another device on VLAN 10 because it'll get dropped at the egress port, right? Uh, can I ping another device in VLAN 20? Sure. Right. Cause it's outbound of the interfaces in VLAN 10, but it's not outbound on, on VLAN 20. So that traffic will flow just fine. Can I ping the virtual Ethernet interface in VLAN 10? Again, yes, right? Because that's a virtual Ethernet interface over here in VLAN 10. So it's not going out a physical interface to get to it. So yes, the 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 ping and the ping reply will get will uh, will work just fine. Okay, so we move our our source over to VLAN 20, right? So can I ping a device in VLAN 10? Well, again, the, the answer is no, because in order for that ping to go, it has to go out one of the ports in VLAN 10 to get to another device. So that'll get blocked at the egress. Can I ping another device in VLAN 20? Sure, because the ACL, again, is applied to VLAN 10. Uh, so that makes no difference. And can I ping the virtual Ethernet interface in VLAN 10? Again, the answer is yes, because I'm not going out uh, a physical interface in VLAN 10. Um, so that's it. So that's those basic your basically your scenarios here. So so uh, again, make sure you look at this from the perspective of the physical interfaces. So not not from the perspective of the virtual Ethernet or the or the or the VLAN itself, but you're looking at it purely from the perspective of the interfaces, inbound or outbound, that are within that VLAN. Uh, and of course, the same thing would apply if the ACL was applied to a physical interface. It's it's inbound or outbound traffic on that physical interface. So same difference. It's just the ports within the VLAN. All right. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great day. Take care.